What's good, agents? It's your boy, Agent Orange Shoes here. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day, week, month, anything at all. And welcome back to the Pokemon Supernova Sun Randomizer. You guys remember the last episode? There were a lot of battles. A lot of battles involving a lot of Pokemon, which I very distinctly voiced my opinion about. Not always the best. But we did uh, manage to make our way to the trial site here at Vast Pony Canyon. Uh, we got the Dragonium Seat, and we are now standing here at the Altar of the Sun, getting ready to reach the climax of the game. But before we get to that, I do have some stuff to address. And as always, before we get rolling, you guys know the deal. If you're enjoying the series of content I am putting out, I do ask you to consider leaving a like on this video. Let me know what you think in the comments section down below so I can continue to improve on this series and uh, future series here on the channel. And most importantly, if you're new here, welcome. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to check out one of my videos. It truly means a lot to me. If you are enjoying what you see, I hope you'll consider hitting the subscribe button down below, the tiny little bell icon so you can stay up to date on whenever a video or a live stream goes up, and in the description is a link to the Agent Orange Shoes Discord. So come on over there, chill out, enjoy yourself a fun old time, all that good stuff. But the main reason that we are here is I have Sucker Punch now. I did find a way to get Sucker Punch onto Charon, which is actually going to be extremely valuable here really, really soon. And I also need to give this, which can change things up. I'm going to give it the choice band. So that way we can hit uh, just a little harder. Just a little bit harder. And I think that will honestly help out against what y'all know we're about to face here. And I will also be giving uh, Life Giver Tapu Lele a Focus Sash. Just, just a backup. I don't know if we'll need it. It's a possibility, given the stat buffs that it receives in this game. But we'll see. We'll see. I'm going to blow... I'm going to put Max Spell on myself anyway, because screw it. Why not? So, that will you blow the Sun Flute? Why, yes. Why, yes, I think we will. Come on, y'all can't tell me you didn't see that one coming. We're about, we're about to see it. Oh, we're all about to taste the power of the sun. Oh, it's so good, so good. This is, this is a literal, a completely literal reenactment right here of what actually happens when you open up a bottle of Sunny D the right way. Believe, believe me, I've seen it. It was just like this. Except maybe with uh, maybe with less Pokemon evolution and more vitamin C, but I think you're getting the point here. So, I mean, we're just here. Uh, there it is. It's an angry, adorable, kind of funky-looking Solgaleo over there. Look at that boy! Get that intergalactic roar out. That's what I'm talking about. I, I love me some Solgaleo. I honestly do. That is such a good-looking Pokemon. I'm not going to lie. And just really, really well designed. And it, it, it fulfills the purpose perfectly. Nebby, th thank goodness. You're all right. Please don't ever do that again. It, you made me worry so much. And I never imagined sounding the flutes would give you so much power. Or that you evolve into the legendary Pokemon. Angry, a angry roar. Taste the power of the sun. That's all he's ever gonna say. From now on, whenever he moves his mouth, it's just gonna be taste the power of the sun. You all, y'all heard it here first. Not in all of my reading. Never did I ever come across any hint that you would evolve into the legendary Pokemon. Mm. Please, Sogaleo. Mm. No, Gabby. Please, I need to go to where my mother is. We wanted to protect the Lola, but there's no need for her to try to stop the cross, but all on her own. Taste the power of the sun! That's what we're here for. And, and see, she can't help but agree. She can't help but agree. Is this boy is looking like Liger Zero over here. Wild Liger Zero appeared. That is this episode. I didn't, I never really paid attention to it. Just look from the side. Thing looks, if y'all watch Zoids, you know what I'm talking about. If you did not, go watch Zoids. Go do it. Go do it. It about to come back. This is good stuff. As loose me over here getting bodied. Yo, we tried to tell you, fam. We tried to tell you. 
even if this is its worst form that you're running into right here, you tried. Run away, run, run away, excuse me. That right there is what we call some poetic justice. You know what? I don't even feel like reading through the sympathetic dialogue. I don't even feel like it. We're just gonna look at. We're just just gonna look at this thing, and we're gonna see. I don't know. Does Necrozma actually have eyes? I feel like if you look at, it's got like little eyes. Like if you look at the very top when it leans back, you see these tiny little, this tiny little creepy eye hole things. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like there might be eyes in there, or maybe it's just maybe maybe it just maybe it's like a bat. It just kind of senses things with sonar, with light, all this cool stuff. I don't know. I don't know. I'm here, and this thing's just gonna laugh. It's gonna laugh over here. Taste the power of the sun. This is this is a real battle. It is the power of the sun versus um. I, I, I don't know, Pepsi-Cola, Coca-Cola, um, the entire soft drink industry. Th this is, I, I'm, I'm sure this is just a literal reenactment right here. That's all, that's all this is, literal reenactments. Oh, look at that. Oh, snap, you got bodied. Golly gee, however could I have expected that? Oh, yeah. Look at it. The Uber's Meta game. Right in front of your face. Uh, I think it looks so much cooler in this form than it does in uh, Dawn Wings. Because there, and you see the other hand, it's like, mm, mm, delicious. Ah. <laughs> and it, I just, I think it looks so much cooler. It also helps. It actually has the better typing, the better literally everything. Oh, snap. Look at that. Oh. That's that's the voice I'm forever going to use for Blacephalon now. Oh, Blacephalon. That is pretty much it right there. Oh, that's good for a laugh. Oh, snap. Angry birds. Angry birds coming out right here. You sure about that? You, 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 you sure about that? I mean, that thing is pretty fast. Uh, I, th I think you're actually faster. Were you faster? If anything, you guys can see simply how much I care about this cutscene right now. Blacephalon, what was your base speed? Do you actually outspeed Coco? You do not. So I think uh, I think Coco has got the advantage in this one. I honestly think it does. So that's cool. How's it going, guys? How's it going? Just uh, you know, just watching giant terrifying creatures attempt to take over the world. You know, it's nothing new. Just another day here in Alola. How you doing? How you doing, Duskmane? How you doing? Come on, come on. Come on, come on. You want to taste the power of sun? Let's do it. <clears throat> Nikurazma appeared. And he, he he's so angry, he doesn't say anything. He wanted, he wanted to talk about some stuff. For the most part, he did. No, I'm not even worried about it. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna remove this thing's ability. I think it's honestly so much more fun. Screw your prism armor. Screw your prism armor. I'm just no, no, not today, bud. Not today. You are not gonna be. Uh, you're not gonna be preserving yourself any damage there. We are going to use this as a bit of a beta test for Charon. It's trying to come through with Night Slash. Yum. Yum. That was delicious. You know what? You're gonna... <laughs> That's fine. I can sit here. I can sit here. Let's try it out. See how much that does. Whew! That's some beef. That is some beef right there, boys and girls. That is some real clean beef. And the Necrozma's AI gave us a perfect test example. Thanks, Necrozma. I appreciate you. I'll just I'll, I'll 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 take a bunch of experience. That's cool stuff. That's wonderful. Thank you. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Just uh, just a couple of sucker punches. Right all about the place. I think we're pretty okay. As it just 
that sinks deeper and deep in darkness. I have taken the power of the sun. You shall never have your source of vitamin C for as long as you all shall live. Ah, oh, cool. It's nice to see you guys again. Just what I was hoping for. Alola's light has been stolen by Necrozma. It is only a matter of time before all of Alola is wrapped in such darkness. Mm -mm -mm. And I really loved Alola's light. It was so warm. But what are we to do now? It seemed to me like that beast, like Necrozma, was also suffering somehow. It seemed to hurt it to be without its light. Hmm. Hmm. You would worry even for Necrozma? You are too kind, Lily. Far too kind. That is why you took Cosmog as well, isn't it? You foolish, sweet child. We will need your help. We need to be able to travel between worlds using the legendary Pokemon's power, just as you are able to do. You dare ask us for our help now? The one time I can actually get behind you guys. The one friggin' time. Now's no time to be fighting dolls. Mm. Well, there is one thing I am curious about after witnessing that battle just now. Necrozma seemed quite distracted by that bracelet you wear. That Z-Power ring. Or didn't you think so? You, you mean? Uh, it wants Z-Crystals? It's true, Flamp has an awfully large number of Z-Crystals after coming so far in his hiding challenge. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. Even more than to dump Captain Kahunas and all, who just focus on one type. <laughs> I see. So it is the Z-Crystals. And you, you were truly able to summon Solgaleo, such an able trainer. A trainer like you might ride upon our Lunala to reach the world when Necrozma will be found. Yes, just as you people ride upon your Pokemon here in Alola. We call it the Ultra Warp Ride. If you want to go after Necrozma, you'll need to reach the White War reach the White Warp Hole and go through it. Any other Warp Hole will send you to a different world altogether. Perhaps you will be able to save Necrozma. So it is time right now, boys and girls, for my absolute favorite part of the entire game. Favorite part, and I think everyone agrees on this. Let's go on ahead. Let's get on uh Get on Lunala here. This thing looking pretty heckin' good. Look at that face. Look at that face right over there. Looking like, um, uh, looking like what was her uh, name? Olympia? Olympia, the seventh gym leader of, uh, yeah, the seventh gym leader of X and Y. Considering we just finished that. She's got, she got that same kind of face right there. Just, oh. But the reason I like this so much is because... You very, very literally. Mm. That's why I hate it. You have to use the gyroscope the first time around. You actually have to use the gyroscope, which sucks. I don't know anyone who's genuinely used the gyroscope in, like, real, real-world usage. So instead, instead, we are going to ride on, we're going to ride on the moon Get back to tasting the power of the sun. They're like, I, I, I won't lie. I won't lie to you guys. Like, as a mini game, as a mini game, as a thing to do, uh, wormhole, you know, this whole, you know, wormhole riding, uh, hunting thing, shiny wormhole hunting, any kind of wormhole hunting, whatever you want to call it, is actually, actually really cool. That's such a really neat, uh, just a really neat plus that you honestly get out of this. It's not perfect by any stretch of the imagination, uh, especially when, you know, I'm trying to do this right now, and you just, you, you gotta, you just, you wait a little while, just the right wormhole. And um, unfortunately, this just, uh, I, n I don't ever like doing this one. But a as a, see, told you, but I will admit, for all it's worth, when you're, you know, trying to do this, as as frustrating as it is, it, it's, it's kind of fun. I think it's a really cool perk, and, you know, doing things like uh, being able to get uh, shiny Pokemon more frequently, that's pretty cool. I'm actually totally fine with that. I know there are uh, 
a lot of players, there are a lot of fellow shiny hunters out there who kind of swear by that method to find their legendaries. As for me, I'll uh, I'll look in I'll look in other games. I don't, I don't, I'm not like on a rush to uh, you know to go like ultra beast hunting or anything like that. Not uh, quite as much my thing. But I, I, I understand the, uh, understand the value of it. We got a, we got a white one. We got a white one. Thank you. Thank you. Only took two times. Last time I did, it took like eight. So that's pretty cool. It's pretty helpful. Never doing it with the gyroscope again. And welcome to Ultra Mega Opelis. This, um, this is definitely going to live up to the name, the words Ultra and Mega. You know, I'm not going to lie, this game, I wish they had given you the ability to, like, come back here again. And there was, like, something you, do, you could, like, trade or you get battles. There was actually some kind of benefit to coming back here to Ultra Megalopolis. Because otherwise, it's it's just a bummer. Not going to lie. Welcome, Resident of Alola. I am Soliera, a member of the Ultra Recon Squad. Necrozma returned from Alola. You will find it up ahead. Seems to be resting atop the tower. Our people have all fled indoors to safety. They fear it will fly into another rage, as it did when that woman Lusamine appeared. So this is what the humans of Alola look like. I would quite like to investigate you further. I feel like there are some South Park episodes about that. How about I just say no? I'll save you all the time you need. Hmm, yes, I am Fico. I am the captain of the Ultra Recon Squad. Now that it has found a source of light, Necrozma will regain its true power. But it cannot control its own light in the broken form it was left in after it lost a part of itself. The power will only bring Necrozma more pain. We use the power of our technology to try to quiet Necrozma. Just as we used our technology to try to provide this dark world of ours with some light. Necrozma, and us ourselves, we have both suffered for many years, so many long years, in this darkness, living a life we did not wish for. Please, help us stop Necrozma. You will find it ahead of this place. Atop the Megalo Tower. <laughs> Sitting up there in just uh in just the, the, the big giant rave building. Like, okay. I mean I and I understand I understand you guys like using jacks. Just using using friggin' ball and jacks to block all the other ways. But yeah, it's okay. It's okay. I understand. I understand you don't want anyone else, you know, worrying about that. It's cool. It's cool. I get it. I totally get it. So you will truly go. Mm. Our Ultra Megalopolis was once a world filled with light. Necrozma was called the Blinding One, and it gave us all the energy we needed. And in fact, we were not the only ones who basked in its light. It even traveled to the distant world of Alola by passing through the Ultra Wormholes. But our ancestors grew too greedy, and they caused Necrozma to lose a part of its body. And this in turn made Necrozma run wild. So help it if you can, we beg you. I feel like you didn't you didn't even need to come back give me this conversation. I was gonna walk up here anyway. I mean, yeah, let's um let's just let's just let eleven year old kid, you know, walk up here and try and defeat the embodiment of light and energy and power in this entire friggin' region. I mean, just all the things this crazy, crazy boy is done. Hang on, whoa. That's uh, the perspective of the that bridge is really weird because it looks like stairs, and then when you stand on them, you realize that it's just like straight. It's a really, really bizarre perspective, in all honesty. But we got uh, we got this right here. We got the galaxies, the universes. We have all the everything, and oh, oh, cool. There we go. So you know. Just a big dragon. Just a big dragon made of light. I like Ultra Necrozma. I do. I think it's cool, but I don't think it needs to be a dragon. I, that feels really underwhelming. I feel like there's. I feel like there's something to default to. Here in um, in the Pokemon universe, it's like, oh, do you want to make a Pokemon even more dangerous and even crazier? Give it an alternate form and make it a dragon. That's easy. Let's just cop Game of Thrones while we're at it. That's cool. But we're going to see how well this strategy works. I am six levels 
below this thing. Because Ultra Necrozma in this game. Ultra Necrozma is, in fact, level 100. And this is going to be fun. Of course, it gets its stat boost. Of course, it's got some different stuff to work with. This is going to be fun. Sitting there at level 100 as a Veltal. I'm going to sit here. Uh, just going to smack this boy up with Sucker Punch right now. Let's see how much damage this does. Look at that. 70%. 70% minimum. And it friggin' toughed it out. Charon toughed it out. Power of Light meet the power of death. Unfortunately, this one does not actually contain 5% juice, so I'm a little bit sorry about that, unfortunately. But I, I, I don't know. I'll see what we can do with R&D, and maybe, uh, maybe they'll get a fix. So in all fairness, even if I didn't have that, even if I didn't tough it out courtesy of Pokemon Refresh, I could just go out to Lele. Lele is going to be immune to Outrage. I throw off Moonblast. It's pretty easy. I'm not gonna lie. When you've got that advantage of priority, it's it, it's it's fine. And as good as the AI might be, as dangerous as the AI might be, apparently he's not good enough to deal with some sucker punches. It's honestly not. And that, that's one of my problems with Necrozma. Is there are easy ways to cheat to I don't want to say cheese it out, because this really wasn't cheesing it i still had a plan either way it's not like when we did the penum room playthrough and i used fear rattata if you guys have not seen that go check it out but when it came down to it all it took was a couple sucker punches and we made it lose its light and disappear into another world that was fun it will likely take some time but eventually we may also be all washing light again like you all my thanks to the people of alola my thanks to the light of the Z crystals. Mm, mm. Necrozma took on that brilliant form once again and became Ultra Necrozma. Thanks to you all. But now, Necrozma has lost his life once more and appears to have fled to Alola. And your soul, Galeo, weakened as it was, has also returned to your world. I am most grateful for all you have done, human from the world of Alola. And with that, I guess we'll um, go so just, you know, just, just kind of grab a poiple here. I guess we'll just do that. It's fine. No, I'm not too worried about it. That's fine. I'll be more than happy to take it. I mean, I'm not going to go on like any crazy shiny hunt for it or anything like that. I guess we'll just see. It's pretty cool. Wouldn't have been really cool if it actually was. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm really, really not going to lie to you guys. That would kind of kind of cap things off in a really beautiful way. But I, I don't uh, particularly care. I honestly don't. Uh, I'll nickname it what I always nickname uh, my poiple, which is Sticky. Let's let's take a look. Are you decent? Are you actually decent? Your neutral nature. Uh, I, I, I guess you're okay. I guess you're okay. I'll just send you off to a box. Sorry, bud. I, I appreciate you, but we our team is already pretty uh, pretty fat stacked. What I like to take Lunal or Solgaleo? Ah, I think uh, I think we're definitely gonna taste the power of the sun here. Let's do it. Cool with that. Just uh, yeah, just just go on ahead. Pop me right back out the wormhole. I think we'll be pretty okay as everyone's waiting out. Nice and easy right there. Where you at, boy? Where you at, bud? You gonna show up? You gonna show up? I'd appreciate it if you did. No. Okay, that's cool too. Impressive human of Alola. Mm, thank you so much. While you were battling the Cross Manor Ultra Megapolis, we were able to make some discoveries about the auras here in Alola. The auras of Alola came from the Crossma. They are the remnants of the light it emitted long ago. These auras must have been particularly strong at the trial locations and the Z power for the Z moves. It is also similar to the auras of the Totem Pokemon. Both came to Alola as Necrozma's light. You are such a powerful trainer. Maybe you can return the light to Necrozma without having it run wild. 
sign of thanks. We will continue to our share to dot dot Flamp, Alola, Alola. I got curious because I saw the altar go all dark. I guess took care of all that, huh? Huh? But I'm not gonna let you take all the good parts. I'm a captain too, you know. Let's so watch see if you can beat me trial. Huh? If you're ready, just come by my house. It's in Seafolk Village. Oh yeah, guess you uh, just come with me. Let me know if you want to go together. It's cool. We might as well just do that. So we're gonna head back to the Seafolk Village. Get nice and uh, nice and comfortable. After traveling, you know, some 1,800, whatever, light years, uh, I think I'd rather just come back, chill out, and uh, do whatever it is that we do. I don't know. I mean, we, uh, we saved the world. We got a bunch of legendary Pokemon on our side. Um, yeah. It's been fun. It's been a lot of fun. I'm really, really kind of disappointed in you, Ultra Necrozma. I'm really, really disappointed in you. For now, that is going to do it. Now that's the taken care of. We have one trial left. We have the Grand Trial here on Pony Island. And then we have the Elite Four. And that will end up doing it for the main game. Then after that, we will have, uh, we'll have the Ultra Beast component and Team Rainbow Rocket. And that will be it for the entire series but before uh, before we start the next one i might actually do a little bit of leveling because we're leveling up considerably slower than i thought of course legendary experience curves eh, they are what they are uh, you make do with what you got but we will hit up Mina's trial in the next episode so thank you guys so much for watching the latest episode of the pokemon supernova sun randomizer i truly appreciate it could not do this without your guys' support uh you guys have just been great i wanted to show off more Vulture to Cosma, so I'm sorry that it was just a pushover. I'm really sorry, guys. Uh, for now, though, you guys know the deal. Like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, family, everyone that you guys know. I would truly appreciate it. I could not do such support, and I hope that I can continue to count on that support from you all in the future. But for now, that is going to do it. I'm Agent Orange, signing out, and we'll see you guys next time.